طوبى لجيل توخى الوحي عنوانا وشاد من نوره في القلب إيمانا وغد في السير يبغي العلم ملتمسا وصوله فحباه الله رضوانا علم الشريعة تاج عز لابسه يشدو به ألقا سعدا وجلانا علم الشريعة باب فاز داخله بالخير والنفع تعليما وإتقانا علم الشريعة غيث سح وابله فافتر قلب الفتى غضا وريانا لله در امرئ أفنى شبيبته يتلو ويحفظ إسنادا وقرآنا I don't know if this is the start of a new vlog or if I'm gonna mash all these vlogs into one and have a 50 minute, one hour video. Like I did the last time, I don't know what do you guys prefer. to get my gear. I was like, you know what, let me film the Spot Academy today. This is the primary school that Spot have, which was sick. So I was like, you know what, I actually didn't get the chance to film it because yesterday we were looking for land and before yesterday we went like six hours, three hours up, six hours back. So didn't get time to kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna go get breakfast because I still didn't have anything to eat. Finally, a uh, chilled out day. Hey, no chilling, blood. <laughs> Today is chilled, bro, compared to the other days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't have to rush my morning coffee. And I have boss man here driving me. <laughs> right, I told you, I keep two cases. Boss man. I was going to sit in the back, so he literally feels like a boss man. <laughs> Listen. 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 There's some really good land just around the corner from here and it sounds promising I'm not even gonna lie to you This place is central, central, close to the airport, everything Probably gonna be a bit pricey but we'll see if we can negotiate him down on price And I'm so adamant on price because if the price ain't right I don't care if I have the funds for if it If I was spending my own hard earned cash would I buy this land? I don't care if I have enough money because I have no, enough money for all these lands I'm not gonna lie to you but am I going to buy it with my like would I? Nah, I wouldn't So that's my own money. Imagine other people's money. It's a big responsibility. Can he get back to you? No, he said he would tell me your time. It's there. I know the answer. Okay. You're just going to tell me your time, eh? Oh, nice. What's this? What is ice cream, brother? The reasons why I ended up finding spot and working with them was because I was gonna do this thing solo, yeah. And then Bendif was like, "Bro, have you heard of spot? Me and my mates raised money and we built a school, primary school, with spot. And here it is." Bro, proper clean job, man. Look at this. And they have how many classes is in here? Six. Six classes. Assalamu alaikum. No, no, sit down, sit down, sit down. No, go. ABB Academy. Bendit, where you at? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa Right, so today is? How old are you guys? Five. You are five, all of you. You look ten. <laughs> what am I going to teach them? Like that, man, the teacher. Okay, salam alaikum, guys. Class is dismissed. You can go home. This could have been your... Your Asher, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. This is, this is what you actually think is a 5%, don't you? This is 5%. Bro, this is not 5%. This is not... Actually, bro, this is probably like a 2 aside, man. This is a 2 aside. Like, I want Astros in my school. And uh, I need a big plot of land, man. He's convinced me, like, this is big enough. 
كيف هناك؟ السلام عليكم. وعليكم السلام. كيف حالك يا شيخ؟ الحمد لله. الحمد لله. أنتم بخير. بخير والحمد لله. بارك الله فيك. جئتم للزيارة. وأحسن الله إليك. وزاد الله من أمثالك. نعم. أتينا للزيارة. خفيفة يا شيخ. أنا سأتي بالكاميرا وأصور بعض من اللقطات. بارك الله فيكم. السلام عليكم. أولاً. ما شاء الله. تيجي بدي صالح ذا. آه صالح. هي ماي جاي صالح إنا. أدري بكرك يا هيم. It's not big yeah. Big but it's not big. Bro, I need a big land. You know, I need a big land. تراه مطلعا بالفقه يشرحه ويعمر الارض تفسيرا وتبيانا والعلم بالله نور جل حامله وفاز بالسبق ايمانا واحسانا من مثله في الورى الله يذكره صلى عليه صلاة Guys, I don't know if you can recognize this guy, Salah. He's also teaching in the school, like as a student apprentice. Yeah, we're going. Everything is a messenger. Say, worship Allah alone without any partner. Answer this in the YouTube comments right now. What do the messengers of Allah call to? And this is the answer the kids from Spot Project gave. You say, Verily, we have not. Remove the not. You make a mistake there. Don't put that one there. Correct in a tiny bit. But here, which tiny but ta'ud, you sh you use you match two words in one. Wa, ij, ta. This is ta. Ni, bu. Okay, that's one. It's a new teacher. New teacher. Yeah. When you used to have a teacher. Yeah. He actually didn't teach us anything. He used to just have us in class. It was a Quran class, and he'd let us listen to his voice. He had a nice voice. So and he had nice hair, so he's always like doing his hair. He's like, Ar Rahman. I'm hair. not gonna do that to you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you work away. I'm not gonna distract you. I'm actually just distracting these kids. They should be working. Yeah, so they actually are finished. If you wanna stay in my class, you can stay. If you wanna go, you can go. Cause I'm gonna give you class right now. Straight away, Suleiman wants to go. You wanna go? You ask. Okay, okay. I, th I thought you're trying to bounce from my class. Even though school's finished, but well, I thought you wanted to leave. Because my class is interesting, you know? Are you ready for my class? Yes! Are you ready for my class? Yes! Say, so take like, boo! Yeah. He did that, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. He did that one, yeah? Come on, man. I told him about the Egyptian and then he was like, Khalas, say less. Show me how to do it. I gave him, I gave him one time, he hooked it up. What you want to teach you? Yeah. And then? Bro, you're already, you're already good. I'm in these on their way home from school, yeah? <laughs> and they're scared of these girls. <laughs> but look, the way they kick him, bro, they're looking red hot. Don't run, don't run, don't run! Oh, he's coming, he's coming, oh my god! Ah, ah. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, I didn't even catch that. Oh my days, that was mad. We could have been dead like that. That was mad, that was mad. It's bad. Yeah, spin it, it's just spin it, just spin it. 
Lima, from where should we move it? It's like just a weird clay material. Put your trousers up so your clothes won't get dirty. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's proper, proper deep. I don't think we're going to be able to get this car out. Nah, man. Go, reverse. Okay, okay, yeah. Cool. It's going to miss my flag. No, no, no. Thank you, friends. No, no, no. We're here maybe one hour non stop no, this no, guy, no, man. Yeah. This guy stopped for us. What a legend. Hi. So I'm trying to stop taxi to no airport, and they all think that I'm trying to stop them to ask for help. <laughs> it's mad. So they just dodge me, man. Brother stopped, yeah, really. and they're gonna give me a lift. There is man. Oh, we made it! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, look, man, there's another puddle here. Yeah. This one. Oh this man. Yeah, yeah, it's going. Yeah, yeah, I must go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must go, man. Yeah, I must get to the airport. Yeah. Let's stop again. You paved the way as well, yeah? Yeah. A oh, legend. Oh, fucking messaged me there, and he was like, "We actually managed to get out. We've come to the airport to see." So I'm just gonna see where they're at. Bro, I don't know how you can get out of that ditch, but that was that was a swamp. Abu Cape to Abu Bakr is risky. Man, when I left, that guy couldn't pull him out, and then he left as well, and he was stuck by himself for a bit. Okay, okay, he was still there. That guy was actually a nice guy, bro. But like, we were there for a whole hour, and nobody stopped. <laughs> this guy is some pilot. You guys, in this swamp, man. <laughs> It's my fault. If I slap the brakes <laughs> and the, remember it's we a bend, going, it's a bend. We're, we were going bend. fast, fast, but we're going. If what we're going fast, else? we would have been dead. Yeah, of course we were going. If we were, we're going back. fast, we would have been gone. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? So boom, we're driving. I'm seeing the road. It's in my eyes. It's clear. It's clear. You understand? All of a sudden, bro. Well, like, like it looked like the water came like, from the. Bro, do you know what I don't understand? It's like the water came from the sky. It's like it wasn't from the ground. Bro, it was from the ground. <laughs> no, bro, it just it's came out of nowhere, man. No, 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 I will. I, if I'm not mad, if I'm not mad, I'll tell you the water came from the sky. Did you just see the video he just showed you? Yeah, yeah, it's on the video. Bro, did you see the, the screen was dark? It happened to me when I was I couldn't coming. see. You see, the, you see it was dark. Yeah, yeah. It was dark. Yeah. See, if I press the brakes, we're not here right now. Yeah. Because we would have went into the bush, I think. Yeah, yeah, 100%. We'd have went into the and, bush. And if you had a bit of speed, we weren't yeah, here. No, right now. And if there's anybody on the road, we'd be finished. Oh, yeah. The whole situation was mad. There was two situations. The first one we were driving, it was like half four, no light, dark, you can't see anything. And then he was speeding, but he wasn't speeding too fast. He goes into a swamp and the water just covers the windscreen and wallahi, it goes dark. You can't see anything. He's just driving for like at least four or five seconds. And I'm, I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying four or five seconds. I'm saying like one, two, three, four. Oh, it was dangerous. It was dangerous. And it's like, he was saying, it's like the water just came out of the sky because you just don't know what the hell. Um, so that was that. If there was anybody on the road, we would have been told. If he was going faster, we would have been told. If he stopped, if he just pressed on the brakes instantly, we would have been gone. So, bro, alhamdulillah. And then the second situation got in that swamp, which you, you just can't see. You think the car is going to be able to go through, bro. It was a mad hole and it was like clay texture as well. It wasn't like even sand or anything. It was like the car was sinking. The car was sinking. Um, so I obviously had the bounce because I was like, I need to catch my flight. But then uh, Abu Bakr came as well. There's another Abu Bakr. And he, uh, he ended up, because that first car that you saw before I bounced didn't pull out. It wasn't able to. So Abu Bakr actually came with his, um, with the 4x4 and he pulled it out. Yeah, man. I was even saying, like, this is not even that deep of a situation because we could have died earlier, you know? Them situations give you perspective. Like, why have you prepared? Why have you prepared for your outfit? Are you ready to die right now? Ask that, ask that question for yourself. 
And I remember, like, coming out of it, I was just like, bro, there's so much more that needs to be done. But I'm not ready. And you need to be at a state of readiness. Like, the moment needs to be at a state of readiness. Alhamdulillah, man. We're here anyways. One thing I'm looking forward to, as you can tell, I'm wrecked. Wrecked, wrecked. The whole time I was in Gambia, no sleep. And here is my flight, and I'm looking forward to sleeping on that plane. Because being honest, these last four days that I've been here, barely any sleep. Barely. And even when we do come in a bit earlier where you can get like five, six hours of sleep, man, I'm just there overthinking. Man. I just can't even, you know, it's a big responsibility, a big burden on my shoulders. But Allah, it's, um, yeah. Boy, do I need this right now. Yes, you just have passport officers right there checking for fake passport. Bro, a guy would literally take the passport off and just check it up. I guess it's because I'm coming from Gambia, bro. It's just a weird man. It's never ever been done before. Did you say that it's like a bit, it's fast in the start and then it's slow in the second, yeah? So Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah. The same way you give emphasis in the Egyptian one, you give emphasis in the Madani one as well. So, when it comes to Madani, Ashhadu uh, an la ilaha illallah, they give emphasis, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. This is Madani. I haven't, I haven't done it in ages, so I could be, it could be a bit off. But that's the, the general. What you do is, yeah, for me, especially when you're young, you can pick up on tones. So you need to go to Abu Bakr or go to any of the lads and be like, listen, put me and then, and you listen to me. One time, two times, three times. Don't try to rap again, just listen. Listen, 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 listen. And then maybe the 20th time you've heard it, be like, okay, now I'm gonna try and replicate. But don't try to replicate it straight away because when you try to replicate it straight away, you're gonna do your own version. And then it's gonna be, it's not gonna be the same. But if you listen to it, your brain knows it. It starts, you start getting familiar with the timing.